Hello, hello everybody. This is Rio with Posh Plum Plans and today I am coming at you with a little bit of a cold and a really fun memory spread. Now I've got um, some pictures here that I printed out and cut on sticker paper on my Cricut and I am going to take you back about eight months here and do kind of a scrapbooking spread for the week that my son was born. So I've got a picture that kind of represents every single day and I'm using my Happy Planner lined vertical. So if you have that planner or as you can see here it has a solid colored box at the top and then the rest of it is lined all the way down. So I find that it makes a really really easy memory spread like this or if you are interested in doing like journaling planning, memory keeping, I don't know all the right words you guys, <laughs> but uh, you'll, you'll see what I'm doing here um, throughout my spread is I'm kind of using it as a journal. I'm using the lines as a journal. So what I'm doing right now is just going through and picking out stickers out of the pregnancy book. I got this book when I was probably halfway through my pregnancy, but I realized that Thankfully, the pregnancy sticker book does have a lot of stickers for when you're pregnant, but it's got a lot of stickers for kind of baby's first year. So I purchased that book and it has been very helpful with all my memory spreads. So I'm just kind of going around and uh, as I remember things that happened that week, kind of putting things in, like my last bump photo was on Monday the 14th, and this is January by the way. Uh, we registered at the hospital Tuesday the 15th, which is also the day that I installed my car seat. Little baby boy was a little bit early, so I didn't fully have my car seat installed yet until um, basically the day before he was born. Um, also in the pregnancy book are these very big double stickers like I just put down that welcome baby. So I'm writing his full name in there. We named him Avriel Isaiah. And of course I'm starting to write the date in here and I'm putting February, but it's actually January. So I think I seriously had mommy brain still when I was recording this. So I don't know if you guys have seen in some of the sticker books lately, the Happy Planner is doing um, some stickers in gold and then the exact same stickers in color. So that baby boy down there, I put it down originally in the colors and then I decided that I wanted to try kind of like a drop shadow look and so I put down the gold on top of it and I thought that was really, really cute. So I'm reaching for some washi here and I think this is three millimeter washi. I am a sucker for the super skinny washies. I really love them. This is from Happy Planner. So of course all the colors are gonna coordinate nicely. And I just for the video have them on a couple of highlighters. I grabbed these highlighters from Office Depot. I thought they were super cute. And I just threw my washi on them just kind of to use as a spindle. And it just works really easily and quickly to keep them all together. So I've just gone through and I'm starting to write some of the memories that I have here. So just remembering when my contractions started. They started about 4 p.m. and then right around 8 I was like okay four hours of contractions. I think I'm gonna call and see if they want me to go in. So I did. Long story short I had several complications and ended up getting an epidural which was not normally in my birth plan but I went ahead and got it um, at my midwife's recommendation. And then I was really actually kind of scared that it was going to slow down my birth, but it ended up not doing that. I'm so, so excited. So because this, because this is one of my first memory spreads that I've done this way, I am a little bit all over the place. So the memories that really stood out for this particular week were, of course, the day before my son was born and his actual birthday. So I made sure to get all of those memories down first. And then I kind of skipped around to the things that I remembered later. So the day before I went into the hospital was, you know, pretty much my last day of being pregnant. And I had a maternity shoot scheduled for that day. And it just, there was no way it was going to happen. I was so weak and so tired and just totally over being pregnant that I looked very, very pregnant. So it would have been an ideal time to get those pictures done, but I just was not feeling it. So 
Thankfully, the photographer was my cousin. She's a professional photographer. I will link her down below if you're in the area. Um, we're in the Tampa Bay area of Florida and you are looking for somebody to do it. I'll put some of her work in here too so that you can see the shoot that we actually got filmed. But for this particular day, it just was not happening. So she came and we ended up having a family dinner of Chinese food. And as soon as I wrote that down, I was like, oh, I know there's a Chinese box sticker somewhere in my Happy Planner books. So I'm looking for that in here. I think it ended up being in this mom book, Super Mom maybe. So I found that little Chinese box. I was like, yes, I can finally use one of these. And then I'm also taking a little bit more washi and just kind of separating the memories. Like I segmented that day a little bit just because there were some kind of major things that I wanted to record, but they were separated by big chunks of time in the day. So I just wanted to kind of separate it uh, with my washi. Now I'm going into the giant Joann's book. I don't know if you guys have this one, but I love this book. I love the mega sticker books because they have a little bit of everything. If I wanted to plan on the go, I would just grab one of those books and then I pretty much would have everything I needed. Otherwise I would be thinking, okay, what are the four or five sticker books that I'd have to lug with me? But I love just grabbing that one giant sticker book, throwing it in my bag and then planning on the go. So what I'm doing here, again, instead of recording any habit or anything like that, I am just going to record a major memory. Um, it's kind of a memory that goes with the entire week and I'm going to start by saying gratitude every day. So I've got a picture here of my mom holding baby Avi and she is just a huge part of my life. To say that she is my support system is just an understatement. I literally could not live the life that I have or be as happy as I am without my mom. She is my best friend. She is super close with all of my kids. She's just an amazing person. I hope that all of you have a mom or somebody like that, a figure like that in your life. It is super important. And I'm just so thankful that I have her. One of my favorite sentiments is because of you, I have strength and there is no person that I think of more than my mom and my girls who give me the strength that I have to just continue to go on throughout my days, even when I'm just not feeling it. I've got an amazing support system with them here and I just wanted to take that whole little sidebar and write that in. Okay, you guys, planner tragedy struck. I left my planner spread on my desk and my youngest girl wanted to be like mommy and came and put pen mark and pencil all over my spread. So I got out the eraser, the whiteout, and I pretty much did the best that I could to salvage it. And I thought, you know what? For the rest of it, I will just try to cover it with stickers or memories and that will have to do. Okay, so for Thursday the 17th, we're still in the hospital and we did newborn photos. I'm not sure if you guys have like an in-hospital photographer, but we do at our hospital. And I was so grateful that they came. They did like a full on photo shoot just using the natural light that came in from the window. Those like perfect little baby, oh, perfect little baby shots. And they gave me a free eight by 10. And I literally cried, you guys, like ugly girl cry when they handed me, <laughs> when they handed me that eight by 10, it touched me so much. So going back to the previous spread, I just wanna make sure that the colors I'm using go all throughout the entire spread. So there is that touch of yellow because of that giant baby sticker. So I wanna bring some yellow into this side. So I'm gonna use this washi here and bring that touch of yellow into the second half of the page too. So the next thing I'm marking here is bath night. Again, that little rubber ducky sticker is from the pregnancy book. And then that other sticker, oh my gosh. See, I hate this. I hate not knowing what books they come from. I'm not sure if that came from the pregnancy book or not. I'm primarily using that book, so I would venture to say it is. But um, I just wanted to mark that he had his first bath at the hospital. The picture at the top is my oldest, Sophia, who has been an amazing sister. I can tell you since this was filmed eight months ago and she's been 
the big, big sister for eight months. She is such an amazing sister. She's so good with her little brother and I couldn't ask for more. So she got to pick out his very first onesie. And when we were in the hospital, we had to do just a little bit of supplementation with a uh, donor milk. So she got to feed him with the bottle and oh my gosh, best sister ever. So Friday the 18th, um, my little one has jaundice. So we put him in the light therapy bed and he almost instantly took on the pose that you see there. Legs spread wide open and arms behind the head. Like we just joked that he was sunning on a beach in Mexico because he looked so comfortable in there. And the next day we ended up going home. So it was just hilarious. Okay, I'm jumping ahead. I'm not gonna do Saturday quite yet, but on Sunday the 20th, that was my first day, like full day out of the hospital. And we spent the majority of the day at my cousin's vacation house. So she lives back in Indiana where all of my family is and where I'm from. And they of course came down to visit and it just happened to coincide with Avi's birth. So it was perfect. But that last day there, we spent hanging out at their vacation house, which was so great. So with my first two little ones, I spent four days each. I think with every single one of my, my babies, I ended up spending the extra day. Normally we spend three days in the hospital, but I spent an extra day with each one of my little ones. Something happened <laughs> with each one. And with the first two, I was like, really? I mean, are you sure I have to go? <laughs> but with Avi, I was so ready to get out of there. Thankfully, they let us go on Saturday the 19th. His jaundice was under control enough, so they let us go. Then I just wanted to make a quick note that my cousin did catch Avi's first smile. Well, we'll call it a smile. Who knows what it actually was, but she caught it on camera, and I love that photo up there. He is, you know, just mere days old, and she caught such a big-looking smile on his face, so of course I had to record that as well. The nice thing about putting these pictures up here in black and white is that they don't compete with your color scheme, but I did want to bring in just a little bit more of the black and white, plus I whited out a bunch of the stuff that happened in the bottom bar here. So I've got a black and white marble washi, and I put that down just to kind of cover up. I'm doing a lot of cover up work here in this spread since my little one got to it and basically destroyed the page. So I'm hiding a lot of things here. And with this washi, um, I can tie in some of the black and white from the photos. And it's not normally something that I would put down there because it's really bold, but I feel like it tied in with the color of the ink and the color of the photos. So it wasn't horrible and it kind of covered some things up. So then the last memory I'm writing in here is the first night in his crib. And of course in the hospital, he barely made a peep. But the first night that I got him home was a really trying night because that was the night that he did his circumcision. And then my first night at home, I didn't have any of the donor breast milk. So I had to give him formula. And I think the combination of the two, he cried almost all night long. And I felt so bad for that little one. There just wasn't much that I could do to console him. He was in a new environment and probably in a lot of pain and probably had some tummy troubles, but somehow we made it. Okay, so that is gonna be it for my very first scrapbooking memory spread. I am so excited that I got this down. This is one of those things that I think, oh yeah, I'll definitely write, or I'll definitely scrapbook and I'll definitely do it and then it's, you know, eight months later and I still haven't done it. <laughs> so at least for this one, I got all the memories down and it's in my book, so now, it's just smooth sailing from here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.